Greetings, and salutations, YouTube. It's Hadron here. How is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. If you guys want to see more thrift videos, hit the liar in the top left right hand corner and you can check out the playlist there. And if you want to see what I have for sale in my shop, check it out. It's Hadron.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadron, just like it's spelled here. But without further ado, let's go inside. Okay, they have some bags attached to this fixture. This one's 40, it's a coach. Then they have this GG Mall. It's actually really cute. This one's 40. Then there's this Dooney and Burke, which is pretty nice. Looks like it has epi leather. 20 bucks. I think I might get that. Mark Fisher. Alright, you guys, I just found this suede bag in black from Urban Outfitters. I don't know, it's kind of cute. Still deciding on it. Um, I like the shape. The shape is nice. And I like that it's suede, but I don't know. Maybe. I'm gonna think about it. I'm checking out the rest of the wallets. Nothing too exciting. Most of their good stuff was in the front. I think they're pretty good at picking out the higher end items up there. They have one of these giant fake books. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Look at this Taz thing, someone made this. <laughs> $2.99. Oh you guys, I just found this like metal evening clutch. It's from a brand called from St. Xavier. These actually retail for pretty expensive. But I found this Mark by Mark Jacobs fragrance bag. It's kind of cute. $5.99. I don't know. It's just a gift of purchase, but kind of cute regardless. I might just grab it. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to hold on to them though. And I'm just checking out what other items they have here. This is broken. Oh, look at these YSLs. 50 bucks. Size 10. These actually look pretty legit. But some of the satin has started coming undone, but it's still pretty nice. Alright you guys, I just left. I didn't really find anything, so let's go to another store and check out what they have. I actually stopped by the Goodwill outlet next door, and it is packed like intensely. I just found these purple Uggs. They're not in horrible condition. But I don't know, they're pretty worn, but they'd be super cheap. And I found a bunch of Tom's Dust Bags. On a brown, a brand new box set of the Hunger Games books. I'm so excited. Alright you guys, I just left the Goodwill Alley. I didn't think I was going to go inside, but I wanted to use the restroom. And the other restrooms were closed on the other side, so I went in there. Then I got sucked in to looking at what they had. So of course I had to buy some things. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got when I get to the house. Let's Greetings, go salutations! I am back at the house, and I am really excited to show you guys what I got. So, um, the I went to a couple stores today. Um, the first one I went to was the Goodwill Outlet, and that one is in LA. It's the flagship store, I believe. So it's a lot larger than um, regular thrift stores or Goodwills. Um, it has a regular Goodwill store, and then there's the Goodwill Outlet that's attached, but you have to go outside. And then there's also a community center, and there's also a... Um, a Goodwill, uh, what's it called? Like a restaurant. Um, it wasn't open though, and I don't know if it's open anymore or if they close it permanently. I'm not too sure because I feel like every time I go there, it's always closed. Um, but I usually always go on the weekend, so I don't know if maybe it's just closed on weekends. I'm, I don't know. But, um, I got some cool items. Um, let me start off with what I found at the regular store or at the um, at the goodwill slash like outlet combination um this is what i ended up getting at the regular store i there was that dooney and burke that i thought was 19.99 but it was actually 79.99 and the seven looked like a one like honestly like and i was like oh whoa it's 79 so i don't want that it was really expensive but uh i did get this really cool metal clutch um, evening shoulder bag and it's so cool i love the design i love the tassel it's by a brand called from saint xavier 
and it's brand new, it still has tags attached, the plastic is still on the uh, crossbody strap, so it's really, really cute, and I thought like this was a good like buy. It was only $7.99. I looked it up, these go for like over 100 I think like 150 I think. No, don't remember exactly what it was, but um, I thought it was really cute, and it would make like a really great evening, but you can use this every day. I think it's just like a really cool... Um, little handbag purse so you could actually remove these and then use it as a clutch or use that as crossbody strap shoulder bag or whatever sky's the limit then um that was the only thing that i purchased from the actual store itself i feel like sometimes that store is kind of a hit and miss so many people go there and there's literally like people that sit right next to the doors that come out like from the back where they bring out the carts and Everyone who's like um, like been thrifting pretty consistently at Goodwills, at least here in Southern California, know that when they bring out the carts, those are the new items that they're bringing out onto the floor, and then they're like the, like yeah. So you get first picks of whatever's on there, and people literally just sit there and wait. There's like they have like it's right next to the furniture section. They literally just sit there, lined up, waiting stuff to come out so it's really hard like they're really good at finding things so sometimes um the store is just a little bit tricky to nav like to find anything um that's like i don't know that i would like to buy and resell for you guys so yeah but the goodwill outlet is a whole other story there's so many stuff like so many different things that they sell in there um i know some goodwill outlets don't carry all the items um like my the goodwill outlet in santa Ana that is closer to me, um, they don't carry books or furniture, but they do sell, like, by the pallet. They have, like, these giant metal containers full of stuff, and then people bid on them. So I actually kind of want to do that, but then I'm like, what if I bid on this giant pallet and I don't know any, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of cool, but it's, like, kind of, like, like, daunting, because I don't know what I would do with all that stuff. So, um... I believe a lot of the people that do uh, bid and buy those containers um, sell stuff at the swap meet or um, are e big eBay sellers. So, anyway, enough talking here, and let me just get on to what I was talking about. Um, I did find this <laughs> Michael Kors dust bag, which is really nice because I do have a couple Michael Kors pieces right now that um, now I can. Um, one of them will have a Michael Kors bag to go with it. So if you purchase a Michael Kors bag, you might also get this dust bag um i'll have it in the listing i don't know if you want to check out what i have for sale i'm probably gonna sell most of this stuff i'm gonna it's hadrian.com and see what i have up for sale um then the next item that i have here are these ugg boots which um they're a little bit beat up um i just want to see how well i can clean them um if just like just to practice cleaning dirty suede um i know Usually Ugg boots clean up really well and they hold up really well over time and I just thought that I would give like like take a chance and try to clean these up. Um, again, these were also by the pound. They were like with the clothes, so I believe a pound is like a dollar seventy-five. So I don't know, these were probably like three bucks. And then I have one last item that I purchased from the Goodwill outlet. And it's cool because it's kind of like a three-in-one. Uh, is this a brand new box set of the Hunger Games trilogy? Now I know the book and the movies are kind of like played like they're kind of over already because all the the movie ended, the trilogy ended, and all that stuff. But I'm still a fan. I actually own all the books, but I have them all in paperback, and it's really exciting to have them all now in the hardbound um, copies, which is super cool I just love hardbound books and now I can donate those other ones to the store or um, let the kids read them when they grow up and they can like ruin them and I'll be like I'll be okay because I have these beautiful hardbound books and honestly this is in such good condition I don't know why no one picked it up um, even the box is in pretty good condition it's just like a little bit of lifting right there in the paper but um, each book like, the books are only 75 cents each, and they considered this one book because it was, like, all in a box set. So this whole thing was 75 cents. So each book was, like, a quarter, which is amazing. So 
yeah, it was a quarter each because 75 cents, three books, 75, 25, no tax. So I'm really excited. And that's the cheapest I've ever had to pay for a beautiful brand new book. So I'm really happy. Um, but that rounds out today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today at the Goodwill and checking out what I found. Um, hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps exponentially. Let me know if you guys like it when I go thrifting to LA. I kind of have a little bit of trouble filming in the stores just because, uh, one, I'm like not too familiar with the stores. Two, like it's kind of, I don't know, weird. It's like, um, it's like not my home turf, so it's like a little strange. I think I need to get used to it. I just need to like keep going a couple more times. Um, I used to frequent the stores more like last year, like um, when I like first really started thrifting, I'd go to LA like a lot more frequently, but then I kind of got tired of it because um, driving was horrible, there was always traffic, parking was atrocious, and yeah, but it's fun. I like, I now that I'm going back, I like love it, it's so cool find such nice things and I like I think you guys should definitely try it out if you guys are on the fence about going to a Goodwill or um, thrift shopping in general why not just give it a chance you know that, that you don't have nothing to lose and you might find a really amazing item items and thank you guys so much again for watching hope you guys had fun don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated every time i post a new video and i do post videos every single day at 8 a.m pacific center time i love you guys immensely i'll see you guys all tomorrow Bye. oh these things light up beautiful hey mom look at this chandelier chandelier no, I don't think so. I doubt they. I wonder if they have any lighting actually. We should ask. Yeah, that is exactly like the one we have. Does it look nice? This is really pretty 